Well, good morning. We are live, it looks like. Oh, and great. Maybe... <laughs> I don't have a notification, but we shall see. We shall see if we are What's on going Facebook on. And, uh, well, it's yes, not even morning. Oh, it is still morning. Oh, there we are. It is. And, and it says we're doing to do some live announcements for this Saturday. So we're Gretchen, going to try. Good morning, or well, it's late afternoon here in Germany, but it is has been a bright, sunny, beautiful day. So that is wonderful That's news on this end. Wonderful. Although a little while ago it was bright and sunny and raining at the same time. So who knows? Uh, yeah, it's who just knows? German who weather. Knows? But at this point, at least you have uh, have had a nice day. Yes, it's been good. We've done stuff around the house. We have all these bedrooms and Jeff assembled the last bed for the final bedroom. So ah. we're getting things in order slowly but surely. You're ready to have company. We, we're we almost there. <laughs> okay. We're almost there. <laughs> so we won't schedule trips yet. <laughs> we we, won't can, tell we can't do all there. two, four, six, eight, nine extra people yet. I'm not quite there yet. So. Okay. Okay, well, that's, that's good news. <laughs> so well, we've got announcements. Something, yeah, something new today. The idea was Very to try new. to get together and do some announcements that could go out as part of the Sunday Scoop because some people don't like to read and might prefer to hear us tell them what's going on. I can't imagine they wouldn't want to open up their scoop and read it. Right. <laughs> But we know <laughs> That's better. shocking to me. Yes. Um, so anyway, today we have something special. I want to make sure we got one last plug in. Um, Antipas Harris is our guest speaker for the Black History Month event at Old Nation. Today at 2 o'clock, we will have a 2 to 4 session where Antipas Harris, who's one of our partners in doing work in Norfolk for the Urban Renewal Center, has written a new book. It's called, um, is, is Christianity uh, a White Religion? And right. subtitled, Why the Gospel is Good News for People of Color. So, He's going to give a talk, and then we're going to have some small table discussion about some of that. And we've got a number of really important guests coming. We have people confirmed to come from Morningstar Baptists, uh, from Grace Episcopal Church. Uh, we're going to have people from the Urban Renewal Center. We're going to have people from the uh, Healing of Our Soul Ministry, which is our partner mm -hmm. in this event. Um, and, and a lot of other people, and I hope, that we'll have a big contingent from Old Nation show up. Uh, so I know Saturday afternoons are precious, but I hope people will take time out and join us. I, I think it sounds like such a good experience. Mm -hmm. We had a, a smaller thing last year, but it wasn't as on as large of a scale with all these people because Roz Stanley had scheduled it last year. And it was, it, there were a lot of people there, but this year I think it's gonna be even better. And okay, so it's on a Saturday afternoon, but we do have refreshments. Yep. So, you know, we'll have food. We'll have some food. So George it'll Butler's, be good. George Butler is making food, so you know it'll be good. Oh, well, I didn't even know that. Yes. That's yes. a draw in itself. Right. So, on tomorrow uh, for our schedule, we'll have our normal four services: eight o'clock, two of them at ten thirty, and one at five o'clock. Uh, mm -hmm. The notable thing is that Sunday School for Adults continues. I will be teaching a class in Tucker Hall about public sphere. Where, where is faith in the public sphere? And uh, we will be talking this through and talking about what difference does our faith mean in all the issues that go on today. So... Right. And then and Lizzie's going to be leading the chant right. um, class so that people can chant with the Psalms in the service, the 1030 service in the church. And right. um, that will be in the music room. So you get to go through our beautiful courtyard to get to the music yeah. room, which the courtyard in itself is a treat to be able to go mm -hmm. through there. Yeah. So we'll have 
two really good adult classes. And the week following that, Kipper is going to begin a class on the Jewish origins of Christianity, um, Episcopal 103. And that'll be at right. the same time. So we'll have three different offerings for adults. So good offerings. And offerings for the kids. And then, of course, a children's chapel during the uh, 1030 services, always. Always. And, uh, and a full set of uh, classes for teenagers and uh, and younger children uh, beginning at 930 when the adult offerings are going on. So so right. please come and join us. It's a good time. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be a good day. It's going to be a busy day. Right. It will be. For sure. And then Now, then next week, weekend. Yeah. Oh, do we have anything this week that's big that's coming up? No, not until the weekend. But but the weekend is full. Right. Yeah, I think yeah the weekend is full. Now, on uh, Saturday and Sunday, Jeanette Crumley, um, a lot of you know Jeanette, and she's very active in St. Mary's home. And so she's head of a charity sale, and all proceeds go to the St. Mary's home. So it's going to be Saturday from 1 to 4. I'm pulling up my calendar right now before I mess that up. So that's Saturday the 2nd, yes, from 12 to 4. I'm sorry. And right. then on Sunday, it'll also be happening uh, from 9 till 2. So you've got a lot of chances to go in and, and find some really great items, but even better, contributing to a very, very worthy cause with St. Mary's Home. Home for Children, really, really one of our, our most important uh, of all. Um, in addition to that, uh, Dos Santos, our ministry to Latino population on the Eastern Shore has asked us to also donate some red beans, either canned or dried. So if people want to start bringing those in this week, we'll be able to get those and next Sunday yes. uh, get those to the people at Dos Santos. They'll be collected. Yeah, so we'll, we'll have a bin somewhere. And um, you can drop them off at the angel desk and then it'll just get figured out. I can say that easily now from Germany. So Right. Yep. Because because you just have to <laughs> announce it. <laughs> yeah, I just have to announce it and somebody else has to figure it all out. <laughs> right. Um, and then and then the last thing to note is uh, a little future event. But I want people to put on their calendars now. March 17th is a Sunday. It is the fourth Sunday of Lent. It is also St. Patrick's Day. And being of Irish descent, I think it's an important day to have a feast. So being that it's Refreshment Sunday, being that it is the fourth Sunday of Lent, being that it is St. Patrick's Day, we'll have potluck lunch. So everybody needs to wear pink and green? Uh, well, pink for sure. And, and a little green around the edges or a little uh, okay. leprechaun on your cheek, whatever, <laughs> whatever fits. Okay. Or green hair or something. Oh, uh, I don't think I'm going to go there. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Or pink hair. <laughs> okay. So, uh, so we're getting towards the end of our time. We've promised to keep this relatively short. So, uh, yes. Lots of other things happening, and next week maybe we'll give you some more updates. But uh, show yep. up this afternoon, come to church tomorrow, and collect some red beans to bring to church the next Sunday. Okay? Definitely. Yes. Anything it's else? It's good to see you all. Nope. I don't have anything else. Okay. Well, then we are going to sign off for right now. Okay. 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 God bless good to see all, all of you. Peace be with you.